What is actually better for bodybuilding, chicken or beef? That is the eternal question that we are going to try and answer today. Now let's begin on how do we build muscle and I'm going to tell you this from the nutritionist that I am perspective, okay? How do we build muscle? It happens when you have enough calories. What does it mean? Let me give you an example. So if one day you need 2,000 kilocalories to do your activities and survive, if that day you eat 2,500 kilocalories, you're going to have an extra 500 kilocalories to build muscles. It's just delusional to expect you to build muscle if you don't eat enough. You want muscle, you need to eat enough for you to be able to build them. And what do you need to eat? Especially, very, very important, you need to build the right building blocks, which are your amino acids. Let me tell you more about the amino acids. So the amino acids are like, essentially, the kind of like the Lego bricks that you need to have to build proteins. This is absolutely vital, okay? If you want to have proteins, you need to have the right amino acids. But not all the amino acids are the same, okay? We have 20 different amino acids. These are all the ones that the body needs for it to grow and be healthy, but only nine of them are considered as essential amino acids. What does it mean? You need to eat them through the diet because your body cannot make them. Your body can make the other 11 from the nine essential, but it cannot make these nine essential amino acids unless you eat them through the diet. So it's very important that you go and have all of them from your diet. What are the essential amino acids? There are histidine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, and tryptophan. And the three most important ones are called branched chain amino acid or BCAA. You may have seen them in the gym. Okay. And they are isoleucine, valine, and Her Majesty leucine. Let me tell you more about the, 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 the branched chain amino acid. So we have the branched chain amino acid are the most important one amino acid for growth. You need all the nine essential ones to get the best muscle growth possible, but the branched chain ones are the single most important one, of which valine, isoleucine are extremely important, but the most important amino acid of them all to build muscle is leucine. And that's why we're going to consider that in our um, comparison between beef and chicken. So... What's better? Is better to have chicken breast or is better to have beef steaks? So let's find out. So contender number one is chicken breast, a very famous, very, very solid contender. Let's have a look at its nutritional values. So it does contain 165 kilocalories, 3.6 grams of fat, zero carbs, and 30 grams of proteins. Let's have a look at the spread of the amino acid, okay? We have very good levels of all of the essential amino acids, but look at the beauty of the branch chain. 1.6 six of, of valine, 1.5 of isoleucine, and 2.5 of leucine. This is really, really good. So let's recap and see where we put in our hypothetical tier list chicken breast. So we have 30 grams of protein every 100. We have 5.6 grams of branched chain amino acid every 100 grams, and we have leucine 2.5 grams. That's right away as tier food. So remember these values here because we're going to compare them in a moment with beef. Now, if you like this type of video, please leave a like to this video here. Subscribe to the channel because more of them are coming out every single week. Now, contender number two, we have beef steak. And this is another very solid contender, very famous contender in the world of bodybuilding. Now, with beef steak, we have 215 kilocalories. Now, here I put like an average steak. I, I pick like a sirloin steak, just to give you an idea. There are different kind of, of different cuts. I pick like an average one, okay? We have 13 grams of fat. Remember those because they are important. And 25 grams of protein every 100. Let's have a look at the amino acid again. Excellent spread of all of the essential amino acids. Let's have a look to the branch chain. 1.3 of valine, 1.2 of isoleucine, and 2.1 of leucine. If something is making you think, yes, you're right, because let's have a look where we can put this. We have a total amount of protein, 25 out of 100, okay? Total branch chain amino acid, 4.6, which is already really good, and leucine, 2.1 grams. But if you remember, compared to chicken breast, that's not enough. So we're going to put these into the A tier. So who's the victor? Well, if we compare all of them, chicken breast is going to be the clear victor over beef steak, although there are things to be considered. Because beef steaks, they also contain higher amount of fat. Why is this important? Because animal fat is very important for you to make 
testosterone. Now, it's not very clear whether it's healthy to eat animal fat or not, and I leave that up to you. But when it comes to make testosterone, which is the main anabolic hormone of the human body, or one of the main anabolic hormones of the human body, it's really good to have these levels of fat. So how in the end do you build muscle? Well, first of all, you will need to lift hard. You will need to be able to challenge your body, break down your muscle to become stronger the next time. And you will need to eat more than enough food so you have everything to repair the muscle and make them stronger the next time. The third element of muscle growth that no one really talks about is sleep and recovery. You will not build your muscles when you are exercising in the gym or when you're eating. You will build them when you're sleeping and especially you will build them when you are into deep sleep. So when you put all of these elements together, remember, exercise hard, eat the right foods and get enough recovery and sleep and you will be absolutely able to build the best muscles. That's enough for this video here. So if you have liked it, please leave a like and a subscription so you're going to see more of this video. And I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.